Morning Sagittarius. This is your weekend greeting for November 19th through the 22nd. So I am doing this on Thursday the 19th, so there could be some energy there for that, um, but it's just going to be the overall general energy of your weekend. So this could resonate for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So let's get started and just see what the general overall energy is for your weekend. On the bottom of the deck we have dance and it says let your body move. So dancing could be important. Um, sometimes in a spiritual way dancing um, is just good for you energetically and gets the energy moving or it could be that some of you are literally going out uh, to dance going downtown or something like that. So let's see though what the general energy is. So for the weekend, we have your path. It says, have courage to follow your own path, Sagittarius. And it was in reverse. So, I mean, I think the message still stands the way it is. Um, but maybe there could be a little bit of trouble or hesitancy in following your path this weekend. So let's get some more information about that. Spirit, can you please clarify uh, your path for me for Sagittarius? for their weekend energy for November 19th through the 22nd, please. So we have the Ace of Pentacles here, and it was, you know, just wasn't upright, it wasn't reversed. So um, Sagittarius, this weekend, in regards to your path or your plans, you could be thinking about planting a seed somewhere, um, probably has to do with finances, and you may be going back and forth on if this is going to be a fruitful endeavor since it was just, you know, sideways. Uh, then we have the High Priestess, we have the Queen of Pentacles, and we have the Ace of Wands reversed. So... With the High Priestess, you are you are trying to tap into your inner guidance, your inner knowledge here about you know the um, the fruitfulness of this seed that you're going to plant. Um, like I said, could be finance, could be starting something new, um, but it does seem to have to do at least somewhat with Pentacles. Um, you know, so maybe this is about somebody who is deciding to move forward with some kind of spiritual business or, or at least something that they feel that they have a soul's calling for. So then with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Ace of Wands in reverse, though, that's interesting because, you know, it's, it's just a little bit of conflicting energy from the Ace of Pentacles and the High Priestess. So let's get a little more information and see what this Queen of Pentacles and this Ace of Wands reversed is about for you. So what fell over here on this side, Sagittarius, is the Six of Pentacles. So I mean, I was asking to clarify about these two cards in reverse here, but it may have to do still with this, you know, because there's obviously some sense that what you're feeling called to do may not be uh, financially stable or rewarding in some way. So it could be Sagittarius that some of you are over giving at this time. It says the good you do comes back to you an unexpected inflow of abundance, borrowing wisely or paying off debts, sharing your wealth with others less fortunate. So I mean, that sounds really good. But it could be that you're getting this sense over here with these reversals, because you felt like you're giving a lot. So this is probably not a brand new project. It's something that you've already started and you're watching to see it grow. And so right now you're like, you know, I do feel that this is spiritually rewarding. You know, I'm giving to others that are less fortunate. Um, it's, it seems like some act of service. Um, and then what's kind of interesting about this is it's like, I guess what spirit is asking you, Sagittarius, is to look in other areas of your life where you may be getting paid back from this. So let's say you have like a spiritual business or just any kind of business that 
you know, it, it's successful in the way that you're helping other people, they're interacting with you, you know, you feel good about it. Like you can see in this card, this person feels good about giving. And there's a lot of people that are there definitely willing to receive it. Um, so Spirit is asking you to look in other areas of your life where you may be getting paid back for this goodness or kindness or giving that you're doing. So it might not be that you're actually like getting a paycheck from this or um, getting uh, like financial business, but I do see that you're gaining like, you know, you're gaining some kind of following is what it seems. So look in other areas of your life where you might just get some unexpected income. Um, so let's see a little more, more about this. So then it's a uh, renewal in the reverse. So this card says reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness, time to head in a new direction, clarity on your life purpose in your heart, you know what to do. So with this in reverse, it's like you're still not trusting it, you know, um, and and there might not, I mean, if you're a Sagittarius, there could be multiple things going on here. If you are thinking about somebody coming back, you know, um, into your life, it seems like that might not happen this weekend. It also could be that if you are thinking about doing this thing that's being talked about here on your path, like, um, thinking about doing it always the same way, that might be something to consider. Maybe there's something here that you need to change. And then we have the seven of, uh, sorry, the nine of cups reversed. And this says when, uh, wishes come true, your dreams becoming reality, a magical time of life, good fortune, and faith in the universe that all will be well. So Sagittarius, it seems like you are having some struggle trusting in the universe, even though it seems that you are getting like signs and messages from spirit that are directing you on this path. You know, and you can see this path looks, you know, it's, it's unknown. You have to go through this portal of sorts, you know, it's dark. And um, this creature here with the horns, you know, it's like, it's kind of hard to tell with her facial expression. Like, is she friendly? Is she, uh, like mischievous? You know, there's just like some unknowns here. So this is probably a very mystical path or journey that you're going on right now too. And so with the nine of cups reversed, it's like, you don't want to be like disillusioned or get your hopes up too much. And you might just be struggling to hear your inner guidance, even though I see you're really tuning in. So you're kind of like, okay, universe, I'm getting some mixed signals about this. And it may have to do with this seven of swords in reverse. There may be some sense you're getting of like, um, manipulation or just something that you can't fully trust in this. Um, it, like, it seems like there has something to do here also with somebody coming back, you know, so I, uh, there's so many ways that that could go, but I mean, I am getting the sense that you kind of feel like somebody around you is like messing with something, um, you know, and that you could be a little worried that if things aren't going right, it could be due to this person or something that they're doing. And you might be kind of worried that they're like going to come back in now that you're starting this thing, now that you're on your path and are going to kind of mess it up. I'm getting like again. Um, so, but I'm not seeing yet that that's truly like a grounded, um, you know, idea that's going to happen. It's just like, it's something that you're thinking about. So then we have the queen of wands in reversed. And, uh, so like when she's upright, it says brilliant, talented, independent, controlling, there's nothing you can't do. Believe in yourself. Never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true. The need for balance between career and personal life. So Sagittarius, you could have like a work-life balance issue right now. You could be thinking all about work and that's kind of stressing you out because you still have some uh, family stuff you need to take care of. Like the holidays are coming up. There's all kinds of stuff people might feel like they need to do for that. So just like feeling pulled in two directions. And also if you are resonating with the part of the story that you are, are worried or feeling like somebody is going to come back in to, to mess something up for you on your path, this queen of wands reverse could be signifying that person. Um, or actually, more likely, it's like this is signifying what that person could possibly be doing. You know, maybe they're not really coming back in or anything like that. Maybe the manipulation here is that all this person is doing is kind of slowing you down in a way because they are making you feel less confident or less 
talented, you know, so that might be kind of like this hidden, hidden thing that's going on here. And then finally, we have the uh, six of swords, which is also in reverse. So it's like um, a continuation of, of feeling stuck in this, of like worried about what someone else might do or or just worried about something getting in the way of this of this pentacle that you are growing here. Um, so and also, again, it's like I'm seeing this six of swords in reverse as that someone isn't going to travel to you. So if that is something that you're worried about, like you're worried about somebody actually coming into your physical space or something, like I don't think that this person is going to do that. And this person literally might be, you know, sort of like in your energetic space somehow. Um, and maybe they are having trouble like letting go um, because it's like somebody who wants to keep these challenging times going. But also that could go for you too, Sagittarius, that you know, it's up to you to decide how much this all affects what you're doing here. Like, are you going to let it keep running you around? Um, or are you going to choose to end it? So that's what I have for that situation, Sagittarius. Let's see. Um, so about this, about this thing, you know, that you're worried about, about someone messing with you let's just see if spirit has like a final message on that for you um to kind of alleviate any fears you have um moving forward with this weekend so at the bottom of the deck we have let go of others thoughts and opinions it's time to embrace who you really are so Sagittarius there's a need for you to take control here in your own mind space you know I'm kind of seeing that you are really worried about your actual like physical space like someone coming into your physical space but what seems to actually be going on is in your mind space and you know that is a thing that happens in the spiritual community I mean people can can try to get all up in your energy or, you know, could be somebody else is just thinking about you so much that it's coming in that way. Um, but in any event, it's time to let go of their thoughts and opinions. It's time to embrace who you really are. So if there's something that's holding you back, maybe something that happened in your past that's making you, you know, just less confident moving forward or worried that this outcome of this, you know, endeavor that you're taking on with the Ace of Pentacles is going to ultimately not work out for you in some way it's just time to like let that all go and kind of start fresh because this does seem with the ace of pentacles to be a fresh start and you are the high priestess Sagittarius so I mean you're incredibly intuitive and you have the ability to see through all this shadowy stuff um you know, and part of seeing through the shadow is seeing what's going on. But then there's a decision point when you have to decide to do something about that, like get those people's thoughts out of your mind, or maybe they're not even doing anything. Maybe it's just thoughts that you have. And so finding some kind of practice this weekend that can clear that out, I think would be really helpful for you. So you can tune in more and hear exactly what spirit is telling you, not what someone else is telling you or some other rando spirits that might be around. I think that could be helpful. So over here next to your path, we have the starling and it says now is the time to get out into the world and connect in authentic ways. So maybe you've been doing this like kind of behind the scenes planning thing with this endeavor that you're taking on and you have the backing for it. You've created some things, but you're just like a little unsure about putting it out there. So it's time to get out there and connect with other people in an authentic way. You know, it kind of seems like maybe some of the stuff you're putting out there is fairly authentic and I don't think that the stuff that I don't think there's stuff that isn't authentic it's like you just are possibly holding yourself back in some ways you know kind of like playing it safe a little but actually the message seems to be that you're incredibly um unique and have a lot to offer and that can be a little scary at times when you are offering or saying something that other people aren't saying but like in this where'd it go in that six of pentacles, you know, there's like all these people that are reaching out. They're like ready for it. They've been looking for it. So the more that you can stand in your power and in your authentic self and put that out there for other people to connect with, I think that's going to also alleviate some of this worry about this other stuff too. So then we have the crow spirit, which says universal laws and truths are now being revealed. Use this energy to create your reality. So so like I said, you know, part of this work is kind of to see if there, you know, if there truly is some kind of like 
sort of darkness or shadowy energy around you that's not all the way yours, part part of the process, it seems for you, Sagittarius, is seeing that, you know, you're a seer, you're an intuitive. Um, so this is just part of the process. And I actually think that it seems like this can serve to actually give you inspiration for this ace of pentacles and like how to move forward with that but um, maybe from your own experiences and then we have the eagle here which says you are learning all aspects of spiritual connection and reaching new heights so that goes along with that perfectly you know i mean it isn't all all highs and it isn't all lows on the spiritual path um, or just like any path in general. So you're learning all the aspects, you know, maybe you were really in one part of it and now you're being challenged to kind of put this all together and all into perspective. So then with the Blue Jay, it says the time is right to access and master your abilities. Do so with humility and control. So, um, you know, so all this actually is happening for your highest good, Sagittarius. Like I said, there is like inspiration and this energy, wherever it comes from, you know, because we're surrounded by energy like all the time and spirits and, and living people. There's just all things going on around you and you're connected to it all. So if you're being really confronted with certain energies and some are high and some are low, you know, um, the challenge right now is to you know, see that that is really your power unfolding, your power to access all these things. And it's a new rung, like on the ladder of success, you know, um, so, so many things or energies may be being placed in your life right now, Sagittarius, or this weekend, um, because, because you're learning how to master your abilities and how to transmute or alchemize this or you know just shape it to what works for you because you have an outlet that you may not be fully utilizing to uh like funnel that energy into something else and kind of transform it into something new so then we have the owl here which says your intuition is correct follow your inner wisdom without fail so i don't mean to make any of this sound like it's not happening up here sagittarius it looks like it probably is in a way i mean it's going to resonate how it resonates for all different people but so sometimes we spend a lot of time getting in this space of being like okay i saw something that you know was like a little dark or shadowy or maybe even scary and now I'm trying to convince myself you know that my intuition maybe wasn't correct maybe this is all in my head so if you're in that space Sagittarius this weekend your intuition is correct I actually see very strong intuition all through this reading for you so follow your intuition it follow your intuition and follow your inner wisdom without fail um, and then we have the white owl. Interesting. So two owls out here. That's pretty rare. And it says, uh, the wisdom and messages of the divine are within you. So again, finding some kind of practice or some space where you can really go within and truly listen to the voice of spirit. And maybe, you know, whatever that is to you, like whoever is guiding you, um, and who you want to guide you. So like God, your angels, your ancestors, you know, the energy that you trust I think that they're you're being called to kind of experiment with maybe some new practices that help you to know without fail who's talking to you so then way up here we have the loon which says pay attention to your dream time messages of guidance are drifting in so you may have been having some dreams so pay attention to those but I'm also getting that to have discernment with those because your intuition is correct and the wisdom and messages of the divine are within you um, but you know dreams are a lot of symbolism and there's a lot of energy there too so um you know, on the other end of this too, I mean, so don't just discard them as dreams. I mean, there are, seems to be some answers there for you. And then finally, we have the white turkey spirit and it says the power to heal the earth is within you. So it could be Sagittarius that something to do with your purpose has to do with healing or the healing arts. And it could be having to do with healing the earth or nature. I mean, there's like a lot of nature in these cards and there's a lot of giving in these cards and being of service. So, um... Two, I'm kind of sensing that maybe getting out in nature some way, because there's a lot of stuff said here kind of about synchronicities and listening to spirit. So if you're feeling kind of like overwhelmed in a certain space or like where you live or something, this weekend might be a really good time to go out into nature where the animals and nature live so that you can really tune into 
um, you know, the messages from the divine. And I just want to note here real quick too, that, you know, with the white turkey and the white owl in this deck, these cards are very, they're like rare, you know, you don't always see a white turkey and you don't always see a white owl. You don't always see an owl either. So there's like a lot of magic here, a lot of mysticism, Sagittarius. And sometimes that feels a little, I don't know, you know, it feels beautiful, but it also feels spooky and, and a whole other kind of range of emotions that come with this. But I think what the important thing to remember here is that you are being given a key and um, an ability to see into the mystery. And so I think spirit is really asking you to dive into what that means with your path. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius, for your weekend energy for November 19th through the 22nd. I hope you enjoyed this reading and that it was helpful for you. If you could please like and subscribe to the channel so you can see more like this. And I'll talk to you again soon.